All right, sixth graders, so what I want to show you today, uh, and I'm going to go over this in class tomorrow, is how to get your music into your GarageBand. So I want to do this short and sweet and show you how easy this is. So I'm going to switch over to the internet where I'm going over to our Schoology. Inside our podcast materials, we have a folder here called Podcast Music. The Podcast Music folder probably won't open in here if you click this it'll take you to a folder inside my garage, my google drive that has four songs that you could use so what to do is is choose it click once go over here to the eyeball and it should open up so that you can listen to the song so you listen to the song and if you like it then you can use it for your show. So I'm just going to use this first song. You are more than welcome to download all four, listen to all four, however it is. So I know I like this Happy Day song, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the three dots, and I'm going to download the song. So the song's going to download. If you're using Google Chrome, it's going to be right here. You can see that it's a fast download. So this is how easy it is to get it into your show. Ready? Open, click that arrow, and click Show in Finder. I'm going to minimize the Internet, and here's my GarageBand. All right, there is the file right there, Happy Day. I'm going to go to the beginning of my show, and I'm going to simply drag it onto the, dr on onto the track underneath where you did your show. It'll convert, it'll upload, and then there you go. Your song is now in there. So now what you need to do is edit. Okay, for editing, what you're going to do is you're going to hit the letter A. When you hit the letter A, all of your tracks turn dark. And if you click on the music track once, you'll see the volume line. You can also say it says volume right there. We're going to start our show at zero decibels. These are called keyframes. So what we're going to do is we're going to go about four seconds in and click on the line. It adds another keyframe. We're going to bring this up to zero decibels. That is a regular volume. So our volume is going to fade in. We're going to listen to the beginning a little bit. And at eight seconds, I'm going to add two more keyframes and minimize my music to about negative 20 decimals. That will allow my music to play behind my audio. Then as you can see, we have an eight second break here, so we're gonna do two more keyframes, making our second keyframe line up with the end of our voice, and we're gonna bring that back up to zero, close to zero. If you're negative three, negative 0.3, or positive 0.3, it's not a problem. Then our show starts again. Now this is the beginning of our content, so I'm gonna do two keyframes, and I'm going to fade to, to zero because I don't want to play my music during the show. So now this is the tricky part. I'm going to put my playhead right where I faded out. I'm going to do Windows T to cut my clip. It's literally like a pair of scissors. Then I'm going to do, uh, see, how the, see how it's white and this is dark? The white part is chosen. I'm going to do Windows X or Command X um, or, uh, for your Apple keyboards. Command X cuts it. I'm going to go to my first opening, and I'm going to put my playhead where I want it. I'm going to make sure my track is picked. I'm going to do Windows V to paste that back in. Now, these are breaks in my show, so I'm just playing the music for the break. So two more keyframes, bring it up to zero. Two more keyframes, bring it down to zero. Choose the track, move the playhead, Command-T to cut, Command-X to Command X to cut the clip get to my next break there it is command V to paste make sure my track is picked it's a long track so it runs to the end I'm gonna do two keyframes to bring it up you can move these keyframes left and right if you don't like where you put them bring it up to zero two more keyframes to mute uh, mute it back down and this is the last part of my content so once again pick the track command T to cut Command X to, to cut it into the memory, and then this should be the ending. Yeah, so here's my ending of my show. So I'm going to paste it right here. I'm going to make sure my track is picked. All right, now this is the keyframe action here. So I'm going to bring two keyframes to bring it up to zero. Two keyframes. Now this is the ending of my show, so I'm going to go to negative 20. And then at the end of your show, you're going to do two keyframes, bring it back up to zero at the end of your audio. And then you're going to go 10 seconds. So my podcast here ends at 329. I'm going to go to 339. I'm going to Windows T cut that. I'm going to delete the rest. This is the end of my show. I'm going to put two keyframes. I'm going to fade it to zero. Now, 
if we look at this real quick, you can see that it's very easy to edit. Just two keyframes up, two keyframes down, and etc. through all of your breaks. Now, the very last thing to do is we have all this empty space for our podcast. And what we got to do is we got to take this end marker here. See this arrow? The cursor turns from an arrow to the two arrows to the two arrows with that little frame or something in the middle. I'm going to take this end marker and I'm just going to drag it like that. I'm not going to go past the screen. I'm going to go to the end of my music. And now my podcast is complete. It's edited. It's ready to be submitted online for the podcast app.